today we are going to put all of these fish attractor devices that we've built into this pond. What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how you can build some awesome fish attractors just like this. So the few things we're going to use will be uh, a couple of drills, we got some stainless steel screws, a uh, 5 8 inch bit, a couple pieces of 3 inch PVC, we got this poly tubing right here, it's a 100 foot roll of half inch poly tubing, they use it for like irrigation, uh, stuff like that. You'll need a water hose, a bag of concrete, we got concrete mixture, we got another drill, we got um, some cutters, you're going to need a bucket to mix your stuff in, and of course a couple of boxes. So the boxes are what makes this way better than just putting it in a bucket and dropping it in a pond somewhere. So I'll show you how we're going to put this stuff together. Alright, so the first step that we're going to do is we're going to take these stainless screws and we're going to screw them uh, down towards the bottom of the PVC. And uh, what that's going to do is we're going to leave them sticking out probably about an inch. And then that way... Uh, you know, we're going to put this in concrete, so the concrete is going to stick to the PVC pretty good, but this right here will make sure that the PVC doesn't move, the PVC stays exactly where we want it for a long time. If you use stainless, you don't have to worry about it rusting out too bad, so uh, Ram's going to go ahead and put those in, leave them sticking out about a half an inch. The next step is we're going to mix up the concrete. So we've got bucket we got a drill we got a mixer and this mixer just does okay okay now we're gonna put in some water you know, at first it's hot in here real quick I'll show you about how that's about how you want it you don't want it super soupy you want it kind of dry but not so dry that it won't cure good so get it about like that and pour it in a box yeah. and then you have it. all right so now you got the concrete in the box what you want to do now is take your pipe that you got your screws in stick it down in there concrete. just like so all right now you can see we ain't got quite enough concrete so what we're going to do is put some more rocks in there and build it up on the edges that's why we wanted it nice and dry Stick down in the bucket. Don't you think? Huh? Yeah. All right, here we go. So what I try to do is mound it up from the sides so that your, you know, your, your center is the heaviest, and then you got a nice base that kind of goes out. All right, now that the cement is cured. All we gotta do is peel the box off, and then we've got a, like a natural looking rock base. You can wet the cardboard box too, and it makes it easier to tear. This concrete's dry, so we did this one the other day, and uh, you can see this is what makes using a box so much better than just using a bucket because you peel the box off and you're left with something that is way more natural than a bucket sitting in the bottom of your pond. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start just drilling holes all over this with a small drill bit. And then we're going to take our 5 8 inch drill bit and drill those out even further so that we can shove our pipe through there. So let's go ahead and get a few done with, uh, with this small drill bit. Mm. 
Okay, we're gonna take this poly tube and we're gonna cut it about four foot long. take them try to straighten them out just a little bit Rand's gonna help me do this and then we just take them and shove them through there actually we'll start at the bottom if we might need to get On this one, you see I made it a lot taller, so it's probably five and a half feet tall. I'm about six feet tall. And uh, what we did is we put a bunch up top, and then we gave a pretty good space, and then just a few at the bottom. So hopefully what this would be uh, would be kind of like a Christmas tree that you might see, uh, where it gets a little, you know, kind of thicker at the top maybe, and the bottom is more broad and spread out. So hopefully we're going to do that. And I'm thinking like maybe the big fish might hang out down here where it's a little more spread out. And the little fish will hang out up here where it's going to be a lot more dense. So just be creative. Do whatever you want to do when you're building these things. Once you get them built, the last thing you got to do is put them in the water. So we're going to put these small ones up under the dock, and then we're going to put these taller ones out where it's a little bit deeper. So the bottom, or the deepest spot we got is like, uh, like, and it's pretty deep, it's like 15 feet. So uh, we're going to get them some spots that's about 8 to 10 feet deep, and we're going to put these tall ones out there. These short ones are going to go under the dock. We're going to build some rock formations. So we got that big pile of rocks. We're going to build a few rock formations over here. This right here is just a piece of concrete that kind of ended up that way. And uh, it looks like it might be a good spot for fish to bed and stuff. So we're going to slide that in there as well. All this stuff is really heavy. So we're going to use the tractor maybe and put some of it in there. And then I'll get in and move it. And we're probably going to use the boat, put it in the boat from here and then paddle it out and hopefully put it out there without flipping the boat so, so let's get these in and then I will give you some underwater footage soon of what these things look like uh, once they're settled in where they get
All right, we walked down to the pond today. Uh, here's our pier, there's a feeder. And up under this pier, you know, we have some uh, fish attractors that we built. And I showed you how we built those. And now I'm gonna show you the underwater footage of what those look like. Now it's November, so, uh, you know, there may not be a whole lot of fish on there, but they've got like a little layer of algae built up on them right now. And uh, the fish are all over there, usually a bunch of bram and then some huge bass have been laying towards the bottom. So uh, maybe we're gonna try to sneak out here on this pier and see if we can see a bunch of fish hanging out in them.